All right, today we're going to talk about how to find y, something in terms of y equals mx plus b if we're just given the two points 3, 1, and 4, 5. All right, so we know um, that 3, 1, and 4, 5 is our numbers, and we're trying to figure out the equation of a line in terms of y equals mx plus b that goes through these two points. So the first thing you have to do is set up, is find the slope. The slope is m. That's the first thing you always want to find. So the first step is to find slope. The way you find slope is y, I mean, sorry, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And you should probably write, you should probably rewrite the, we have 3, 1, and we have 4, 5. x always comes first, so this will be x1 this will be y1, this will be x2, and this will be y2. And so m is going to equal y2, which is 5, minus y1, which is 1, over x2, which is 4, subtracted from x1, which is 3. And m, so m, 5 minus 1 is 4, and three minus, 4 minus 3 is 1. And so 4 over 1 is a, fra is, is a fraction, but it, 4 over 1 is really just 4. And so we know that the m equals 4. So we can say that y equals, instead of m, we're going to put in what we found here. We found it to be here. And we're just going to put in 4x. But we don't know what b is yet, so we're going to leave b. Now, you can use either one of these equations, I mean, either one of these uh, coordinates to figure out what b is. Let's use the top one. We plug in uh, 1 for y, because that's what, here it's 1. And then it's going to equal 4 times x, which is 3, and this is how we solve for b. And so we have 1 equals 4 times 3 is 12 plus b. Subtract 12, subtract 12. You got to find the difference between 1 and 12, which is 11, and since the negative is bigger, it stays negative, and that's what b equals. So now we can rewrite the final equation. We, knew, we know that y equals 4x, but we didn't know what b was before, but now we do know that it's negative 11. So we simply move that into the equation with minus 11. And that is how you solve to find something, you, to find the y equals mx plus b form when you're just given these two things. The first thing you do is you find the slope. The second thing you do is plug in x and y. Sorry, plug in x and y to find b. And the third step is rewrite and rewrite it as y equals mx plus b. And that is the basically the three steps. You find the slope, you plug it in, in terms of x and y up here. Here's the x and here's the y. You plugged it in, you solve for b, and then you rewrite the equation as y equals mx plus b. Basically a three-step problem. And that is how you find the point-intercept the point form of y equals mx plus b when you're just given the two points.